certified most accurate. Now your first worn five forecast. Good Wednesday morning. I'm meteorologist Matthew Mondra with your first worn five update. Now for today we have been tracking the heat and the humidity, but also that chance for some storms. Once we head into the afternoon, we've already had some ongoing this morning too. Here's a wider look at those high temperatures for today. Upper 80s and even some lower 90s too with an increase in humidity. Dew points well into the 70s for today. Certainly going to feel hot and humid as you're outside. All that heat coming in because of a southwesterly wind today that will occasionally gust up to 25 and even 30 miles per hour once we head into the afternoon. Now the heat and the humidity should act as some fuel for some storms. Once we head into the afternoon hours, the storm prediction center still highlighting our storm risk for today across the entire TV5 viewing area. A slight risk. This is slightly more of an elevated risk than what we typically see. That best time frame looks to be noon to 8 p.m. today, primarily a damaging wind gust threat with this gust up to 60 miles per hour, but we can't rule out an isolated tornado at least earlier on in that time frame too, as there should be a little bit of rotation present. But your first one five hour by hour showing the storm, rain and storms that we have up north this morning will start to die out as they move towards the east. We've already started to see that this morning, but here we are by noon. More of those storms starting to fire back up, and this is by around four o'clock today. Even more storms making their way in. Those are the ones that have some of that rotation, so we'll look out for that isolated tornado threat. But then especially once we head farther into the evening, this just turns into that damaging wind gust threat, but certainly still some heavy rain associated with this too. Our severe threat starts to end once we head into the later evening and overnight, I still think a spotty shower or two will at least be possible. But again, no severe weather expected overnight or into your Thursday too. That heavy rain for today, we do have a scattered risk for flash flooding all across the area. This will be similar to what we saw on Monday with that storm that moved through Saginaw brought a lot of rain, a couple of inches of rain in as little as one to two hours, and that should be the same case for today. Don't take these numbers exactly as they are for each location, but at least it is a good general outline that we could see some of those stronger storms easily bring one to two inches of rainfall within only an hour or two. Now your seven day forecast is cooler for tomorrow. The heat is short lived at least during the work week here. 81 83 on Friday. We do return to the upper 80s, lower 90s for the weekend and a few more rain chances Sunday and Monday, but those rain chances all also cool us back off to start next week. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.